This is Mark Pryor of the LA Dodgers and you're listening to Jim on Base. Welcome back to another episode of the Jim on Base Show. We're here at Oracle Park in San Francisco with the great Mark Pryor. And Mark, it's good to see you. Thank you. I appreciate it for having me. Yeah, so um, you had some great years, obviously, with the Cubs. I told you I grew up watching you. Uh, but you grew up yourself in San Diego, right? So I imagine were you a big Padre guy? or? Yeah. No, I mean, I uh, went to a lot of Padre games when I was, you know, a little bit, I guess, a teenager and then through high school at the old Qualcomm Stadium, you know. So it was uh, it was nice. You get in for like four bucks and watched a lot of baseball during the summer. And uh, my senior year in high school was uh, 98 when they went to the World Series. So it was kind of a fun year to, to follow them and uh, and kind of, you know, obviously root, root for them and watch Tony Gwynn play. And, um, yeah, it was great. It was, it was a lot of fun going to those games. Well, I grew up a Giants fan, and you're a Dodger now. So at least we can agree on Bruce Bochy then, right? Yeah. No, I, I mean, it was fun to watch Boch. And, uh, you know, I got a chance to meet him as I got into pro ball. And it's always uh, fun seeing him and, you know, just the respect and how he commands, you know, teams and his ability to, you know, get guys to play hard year in and year out. And uh, what he did here in San Francisco was pretty awesome. Speaking of managers, you're obviously working alongside Dave Roberts. So uh, I think you guys faced each other, right? You're playing in the same time period. Yeah, we've, we've got a couple. Uh, we've had a couple at bats against each other. So yeah, I remember specifically when he was with the Dodgers and I was the Cubs. But uh, yeah, Doc's great, and it's uh, it's fun to go back and forth, uh, especially when you play against guys uh, on both sides of the baseball. It's always fun. It's got to be interesting, too. Those are the younger days. Now you're older and have kids, right? So how old are the kids? What are they up to? Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely older. I got, uh, you know, I got three kids, two girls and a boy, a couple in high school, one in eighth grade. And, uh, you know, they're just, you know, doing their thing and playing some volleyball and some baseball and some basketball and, um, you know, hopefully uh, taking care of their academics as well. Well, I imagine you could probably get kids screaming at you for autographs here and there. So do your kids, though, do they think you're cool or...? Uh, they, no, not, not in that respect. Uh, they, they, it's funny. They've, they've gone from, you know, showing interest in the game. Obviously my son, he's, he's definitely interested and he loves it. Uh, my girls have, uh, gone from interested to not interested to kind of back to being interested. So it just kind of depends, but, uh, you know, they, they've always been very supportive of what I do. Uh, and they love coming out to the ballpark when they get a chance. So it's, it's always a, it's always a fun experience when they get to have them at the field for sure. Good perks to have as a kid, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Well, especially for the uh, for the boy. So yeah, he gets to come around and, and meet some of his, you know, guys that he gets to watch. And so uh, and they're our, our our guys on our team are great with with everybody's kids. And, and we have a very family uh, oriented clubhouse. Uh, whether it's you know Freddie's kids or Staff's kids or whoever, uh, it's it's a pretty fun summer for these for these kids to to be able to come and hang out at Dodger Stadium and and you know some of the stadiums on the road. Well. I think about your career and you kind of came up and had a big impact uh, early on in your career. So do you ever reflect on like your call-up story or maybe your debut? Uh, what do you kind of reflect on? Um, yeah, I don't, the call-up story was uneventful. Hey, you're, you're going. So that was like, okay, that's awesome. Um, you know, but my debut, it was, uh, it was at Wrigley um, against the Pirates. Uh, you know, it was a sold-out crowd and, um, you know, the first chance to, to really, you know, be in that stadium and, and feel the energy and the electricity of what it was like to be at Wrigley Field. Um, you know, those are the things I remember. I mean, it was um, for not, you know, ever really being in the Midwest, the only stadiums that I'd grown up and I'd ever really been to was, you know, San Diego's, you know, Qualcomm Stadium. Uh, but to be, you know, of one of those historic stadiums and be able to, like, say that's where you first pitch is, is pretty cool. I'll let you go here. I know you got a, a team meeting to get to, but uh, what are you up to away from the game? Uh, what hobbies are you into? What makes you you? Uh, I like to, I like a long time. So especially, you know, I think, you know, when we get going after 180 days uh, or 190 days, it seems like sometimes through the course of the season and you start adding on spring training. So, um, you know, like, you know, hanging out, you know, visiting coffee shops around, you know, the circuit that we're on, trying to find some different places and, um, always good places to go here in, in San Francisco, but uh, that's that. And then just you know, hanging with my family. You know, try as much as I can, especially even on the road, try to connect with them. Whether it's you know FaceTime or hopefully they maybe get a chance to travel with my, you know, with me. Um, but try to spend as much time as I can with them, uh, knowing that I'm gonna, you know, that I'm gone, you know, at times. Awesome. Well, Mark, it was a pleasant surprise when I saw you kind of come up with the Dodgers and be on their staff now. Good to see you still in the game, and thanks for coming on the show. I uh, appreciate it. Thank you.